I want to go back. He wants to go back. I want to go back to the farm. Go back far away from home. With a milk pail on my arm. I miss the rooster, the one that used to wake me up at 4 a.m. Down on the farm. I'm Scott Bain, they call me the old farmer. I'm taking a few minutes because I'm getting a little tired of what I'm seeing on the internet, YouTube, and in the local uh, big box stores about microwave ovens. Most people have a microwave oven. And when used properly, they're safe and uh, quite convenient. However, there are some things that we should be aware of with a microwave oven. A microwave oven should always be at counter level or if you want to insert it in a shelf below a countertop uh, that's fine. Um, you don't want it at eye level above the stove. Now if you want to put a toaster oven up above the stove that's fine but not a microwave oven. And let me tell you a little story of the way that I understand it. Back in BC, before color television, uh, there were some, um, quite a few uh, uh, fast food restaurants that sold hamburgers. Uh, one of the ones that you may remember from way back, Satellite, there was Burger Chef, Burger King, McDonald's. Uh, in our area, we didn't have Arby's or uh, Hardee's or some of the other ones, but uh, we had uh, Burger King, Burger Chef, and McDonald's, and Satellite finally went out of business. One of the things about Burger King is the sandwiches came out piping hot. And the way that they did it is they packaged up the sandwich, wrapped it in wax paper, and tossed it into a microwave oven for a few seconds to... Uh, let the moisture steam and make the sandwich hot. Well, something was going on that uh, after a few years that uh, was bothering Burger King. They primarily had high school and college kids um, running in the kitchen, putting the sandwiches together, doing the cooking and such. It's a younger crowd. And the microwave ovens were at eye level above the workbench. You put the sandwich together, pop it up above in the microwave for a few seconds while you're working on another one, pull the, uh, the sandwich out that's just been heated uh, in the wax paper, throw the next one in, heat that one up. Um, you get the idea. Kind of a mass production. And they had, oh, I don't know, uh, five, six, ten microwave ovens at eye level. Um, but they were noticing that there was a lot of glaucoma and cataracts happening uh, with the employees of Burger King. And being that they were younger people, uh, the amount of eye problems that was occurring at Burger King was not fitting the national norms for typical problems with vision and things like that. Uh, they were way above the bell curve, and they were concerned about what's happening here. Well, they went back, and even though they had their microwave ovens uh, checked periodically by professionals, and back in this day, you had to have a second-class FCC license or a first-class FCC license to work on a microwave, the magnetron inside it. So they were very high, highly qualified people working on and, and maintaining the uh, microwave ovens. It wasn't Uncle Bob that happened to have a t tool belt coming in and fixing it. Uh, it was, uh, at the time, had to be uh, licensed broadcast engineers. But they were, they, uh, the microwave ovens were 
meeting specifications. But yet there was a problem occurring with, with uh, staff back in the kitchen. And after very careful research by the government and by Burger King, Burger King is not, was, uh, it's not a cruel company. Uh, they don't want to have employees injured, first of all, uh, the, the problems with insurance and things like that, but also just the, from the uh, humanitarian standpoint. Uh, a company doesn't like to have employees injured. So the uh, research was put out and the microwave ovens were not emitting any more microwave radiation than what, what was allowable by the federal government. The federal government, the US federal government had a standard of three milliwatts per square centimeter. The Soviet Union at the time, their standard was three microwatts per centimeter squared, one thousandth as much. And there was a very good reason why. They felt that the microwave emissions at the higher level were not safe. And they were able to prove it in a nasty way. The American Embassy in the Soviet Union, there were a tremendous amount of health issues. Uh, tumors, heart attacks, poor health, across the board, just random things that uh, the embassy couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, it turned out that the Soviet Union was aiming microwave dishes yeah, microwave as in microwave oven, was aiming them because microwave is also used for radar, communications with satellite, and it's even the higher frequencies of UHF television is microwave. That's why when trees move you see the, ref the, the, the picture bouncing all over the place. Uh, when a tree moves it bounces a signal around, that's why you get that ghosting. But they were they were bombarding, the Soviet Union was bombarding the American Embassy below the three uh, milliwatt per centimeter square level below the safe standards on the basis of the US federal government but higher than what what the Soviet Union considered was safe emissions from a microwave oven. And not 100% of the people got sick, but way too many people had different things come across, and some of the people died. I mean, it was that serious. It, was, it wasn't that uh, it was aches and pains or something. Uh, some of the effects that was caused by the microwave emissions caused death. Not, Im uh, not immediately dropping over dead, but the results was the people, some of the people died. Let's bring it back to today. The manufacturers want to turn out a safe product and when it leaves the factory it meets specifications. Whether, whether the federal standard is now still at um, three, centimeter, uh, 3 milliwatts per uh, square centimeter or not, you really don't know whether the microwave oven is leaking microwaves. So the best thing to do with a microwave oven is when you turn it on and operating, yeah, take a look and see what's happening in it, but step back uh, three feet. Um, especially if you've got a microwave oven above your stove at eye level. The eyes are super sensitive to microwave emissions. You could get glaucoma, you could get uh, cataracts and other degenerative uh, issues with the eyes because the microwaves are hitting the eye and the eye can't stand it. When you uh, buy a microwave oven, put it on the countertop or put it below the countertop. If you, you, if you happen to have one above the stove, if you can, move it down to the countertop or replace it with a microwave 
on the countertop or on the shelf that's right below the countertop. You know, I could go on and talk about the history of microwaves and how it got started and all that sort of stuff, but I think I've covered enough uh, in, in this particular episode. Just move your microwave oven away from eye level or stay way away from it while it's operating. Okay? Uh, I really care about you guys and I want to make sure that you guys are safe. And with this little tidbit that nobody's talking about, maybe you won't get any of the afflictions common with uh, microwave ovens being in the wrong place. So this is the old farmer Scott Bain saying, be well. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.